Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert, and in this video we'll be exploring some usage examples for the Hush Pro Noise Reduction plugin. If you haven't seen this before, it's an AX Audio Suite plugin designed for cleaning up dialog. It has separate faders for voice, reverb and noise, and is intended to produce far fewer artifacts than other noise reduction tools. We've covered Hush Pro previously where I demonstrated a few extreme examples of what it can do with particularly heavy noise or reverberation in dialog recordings. In practice though, you wouldn't really be using it in such an extreme way on a day-to-day -day basis when dialogue editing. So the goal here is to try out Hush Pro in a more moderate way, which should be more representative of how it would actually be used in most real-world projects. So here we have a project which is a documentary, and if I play you some of the raw dialogue before it's been processed, you can hear it has uh, some excessive noise and a little bit of reverb on it. Here it is. I was in the advanced teams. I was an assault reconnaissance engineer. I had to be on the front line all the time. And I kept moving on. We moved into the middle of Europe. Give okay, so there's a couple of edits in there which need dealing with, but also, of course, we've got that noise and slight reverberation. So I'm going to select these and then going into Hush Pro, if I just preview this. I was in the advanced team. I can solo the voice if I want to. Engineer. I had to be on the front line all Or the even time. the reverb. Or the noise. So, from them. before I process this, what, what I'm going to try to do with this really is not to eradicate the noise because I think um, that would be a little bit much. I'm instead going to reduce it and reduce the reverb just moderately, not excessively. And that's where Hush Pro really shines because it really does allow you to process it with minimal artifacts. So let's have a go at this. And incidentally, you can either link or unlink these reverb and noise, in fact, any of the faders. So I'm just going to unlink these, set them to zero. Here we go. I was in the advanced teams. I was an assault reconnaissance engineer. I had to be on the front line all the time. And I kept moving on. We moved into the middle of Europe, giving the freedom back to people that the Nazis have stolen from them. And for me, that was the highest job that I could possibly think I did. Okay. Rather than rendering this as a continuous file, I always like to create individual files. It just gives a lot more versatility when you actually go to edit this or trim it in any way. So render that. And of course, the speed of this depends upon your machine. This is designed for Apple Silicon Max, so it's always going to be quick. Okay. Let's take a listen to this in context, which I think is important. I was in the advanced teams. I was an assault reconnaissance engineer. I had to be on the front line all the time. And I kept moving on. And we moved into the middle of Europe, giving the freedom back to people that the Nazis have stolen from them. I'm really happy with that. It sits well within the program. We've not gone crazy with the reverb or noise reduction, but we've done enough, and it works well within the context of the surrounding audio. Still needs a little bit of balancing, but very good. Okay, let's take a look at another example within the same project. Here, once again, is some raw, unprocessed dialogue. Why are they doing that? After all, this is Czechoslovakia. It belongs to us. So I'm living in the same house. Same so you can hear, obviously, we've got some background hiss. Reverb isn't really a problem on this, but the persistent continuous hiss definitely is. So we'll aim to reduce that. Just give it a go. Why are they doing that? After all, this is Czechoslovakia. It belongs to us. Why are they doing that? I think I'm going to go with something like that. Maybe just pull the reverb down a slight bit, but there's not, it's not really a problem. Once again, rendering it to create individual files. And remember, the goal here is to make it sound natural. We don't want it to sound like it's in an anechoic chamber because that's not the context, you know. So just want to make it sound like it fits in. Some background noise is acceptable on this because of the nature of the documentary style of production. But nevertheless, we can definitely improve it as we hopefully have here. Let's hear it in context. I say to myself, why are they doing that? After all, this is Czechoslovakia. It belongs to us. So I'm living in the same house, same street, same town, in a new country. Okay, very good. And of course, if you wanted to, you could pull it down a lot more than that. But that is an excellent result. And the important thing is, there are zero artifacts. I'm listening very carefully with decent headphones on, and I can't hear anything going on there negatively. So good, right. Let's move into another project. 
This is a documentary which we filmed in the Gambia, which is about the use of drones to deliver medical supplies. And it was quite challenging to get clean audio. Here's an example. That ability that something is going to take a good from point A to B, no matter what's in between, whether it's a traffic jam, no road network, a river, a sea. That so that was just filmed in a warehouse. And uh, you can hear there's a lot of reverb on it. There's background noise of some kind of air conditioning unit. And there's also uh, some low level insect noise in there as well. So let's go into Hush Pro and see what we can do. That ability that something is going to take a good from point A to B, no matter what's in between, whether it's a traffic jam, no road network, and then the noise. C, that drone is going to go from point A to B ridiculously quickly. Um, and the marvel of that never disappoints. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Let's render it and then just see how that sits in context. That ability that something is going to take a good from point A to B, no matter what's in between, whether it's a traffic jam, no road network, a river, a sea. OK, great result. Incidentally, let me just show you something else if I just move on to the next piece of dialogue, which hasn't been processed yet. If you needed to increase the reverb, which definitely wouldn't be the case in, in this particular example, but if you ever did, you could uh, do that. So it's not just a means of reducing things, but you can also boost them by up to 12 dB. That might be the case if, for example, you had a piece of dialogue which had some degree of reverb on it, but you wanted to enhance it in post. Rather than resorting to actually using reverb plugins, you could bring it up just to demonstrate that. Logistics is the oldest industry pretty much in the world. The, the second you had societies that started settling in different places, you needed to move things between them. And without that, our world would crumble. And as we move forward, we have to think about better ways of doing that. You know, it's almost like having a dedicated reverb plugin. Let's move into another project now. And this is going to be an example of how Hush Pro can not only work on static kinds of noise, like HVAC systems and fan noise, etc., but also dynamic ambient noise, like traffic, birds, and general background sounds that vary over time. Take a listen to this. It's been 50 years since Bruce Lee came here to film his breakthrough role in The Big Boss. Let's take a look at some of the filming locations. So that obviously needs some EQ, but also uh, there's just a bit too much background noise on it for my liking. Let's use Hush Pro to reduce it. Welcome to Pak Chong in Thailand. It's been 50 years since Bruce Lee came here to film his breakthrough role in The Big Boss. Let's take a look at some of the filming locations starting first of all with the whole okay that's good really good and once that's rendered we'll take a listen and see how that sits in context welcome to pak chong in thailand it's been 50 years since bruce lee came here to film his breakthrough role in the big boss let's take a look at some of the filming locations starting first of all with the hotel he stayed in the rim tarn Inn. again an excellent result there from hush pro just one thing before we go i want to mention the fact that as well as actually reducing the noise or reducing the reverb or even muting them completely, you could also increase the voice level. Now, why would you do this? Well, one example could be if someone was speaking, then they went off mic, so they turned away and some of the lines were a bit quieter, but the background noise level remained persistent. You don't necessarily want to reduce the noise in that case, but rather selectively boost the voice. So you could render a section of it where you increase the level of the voice, maintaining persistent background noise just to uh, enhance it when they're slightly off mic. So a very useful plugin, you know, those were some real world examples of using Hush Pro in context in a dialogue editing workflow. For more information, head over to the Production Expert blog or visit hushaudioapp.com. Thanks for watching.